All right, welcome back to Our Tag and Daughters, and we're at American Defense, and it's Wheel Gun Wednesday. And today, we're going to talk about uh, something you don't see a whole lot: is a Charter's Arms revolver. This has a two-inch, 2.2-inch barrel. It is five-round capacity in the cylinder. Uh, it is beaded stainless steel. Has a spur hammer. And weighs like 22 ounces, so it's not too heavy, and it has a polymer rubberized grip. Oh, and I guess the main thing I should tell you is it's kind of surprise. It is chambered in nine millimeter parabellum, and it gun is empty. So you can see here, if you look at the cylinder, um, the cylinder and the spur and the ejector here are designed to grab onto, and they're tapered a little bit to grab onto the nine millimeter cartridge at the extractor so you can push them out no as you can see it, it fits flat so there is no need for moon clips for this or half moon clips or whatever like i said it is five rounds uh two and a half two two and a half two point i don't say two and a half but it's 2.2 inch barrel um and it's the pit bull version and it's in nine millimeter so that's something unique i hadn't seen and hadn't considered getting a revolver in nine millimeter before um too bad somebody, I thought somebody offered, I think it was Ruger about 10 or 20 years ago, they used to offer their single shots or their single action cowboy guns in 38, 357, and then you put a 9mm cylinder in those. Um, so, not a not a brand new concept, but new just for 9mm only. Charter Arms is unique because they make... Um, a lot of these snub nose revolvers, uh, their Pit Bull series, uh, they make them in 44 Special, and I would like to get one of their 44 Special. They make them in 45 ACP, 40 Smith & Wesson, 9mm like this one, and 380, um, and 32 and 327 Federal Magnum. So they make them in a wide range of calibers from anywhere from the 2.2 inch barrel all the way up to 9 inch barrels, depending on the models. Um, let's take a look at this on the single action we have that great single action trigger double action trigger it it's pretty heavy it's got a heavy double action nothing um that you wouldn't expect out of revolver let's see here That's sights you get your rudimentary uh standard revolver sights there your sight picture um on this one i think i put a little bit of orange paint down here to help that out so I get a better sight picture. Let's see if we try it one hand. Very manageable, uh, even double action. Of course, if you're using this, you're gonna your drilling be rushing, so you'll be able to pull that trigger no problem. It does have a lock. It does have the transfer bar safety right there, so you can carry it with all five rounds with the hammer down, no problem there. Um, let me know in the comments below if you got any of these pit bull guns, especially the 44 special, because that's what I'm looking for. Um, of course, in this day and age, you get we can get what we get, right? As they're flying off the shelves here. So, uh, Charter Arms are, is made in um, Shelton, Connecticut. So it's a uh, made in a USA gun. Us as USA, we didn't know that. Um, so let's see what we got here. What's the part number on this bad boy? Yep, charter pit bull model. And there's your your serial number there. Stock number. There's your stock number. So there's the stock number we're looking for. If you're looking in for a nine millimeter revolver, um, good backup gun. Weighs 22 ounces, so yeah, it could be a backup gun. Uh, good truck gun. Plus, it shoots nine millimeter. Of course, when the price of nine millimeter goes back down, um, it'll be very affordable to shoot come later on this year, hopefully. If everything goes right um, if not if we all lose our 10 round or lose our high our standard capacity mags and have to go to 10 round mags then this makes it a very valuable option because it only holds five rounds so uh, you can save money on practice shooting with your your charter nine millimeter bulldog versus shooting your uh, p320 or something like that with 20 rounds in it because you're going to want to empty the magazine no one goes to the range and only shoots 10 rounds, right? You're going to shoot 50 to 100. So, anyway, pretty decent gun here from Charter's Arms. Um, from my understanding, they have a pretty uh, reliable and repable reputation. Say that three times real fast. Um, 
good little snub nose. I like this revolver. If I had the extra cash, I would be taking this bad boy home. It needs to be adopted. It's lonely. It likes other. It likes to hang out with other revolvers. After all, it is Wheel Gun Wednesday when you're watching this. So um, come on down and see us at American Defense if you're interested in adopting one of these fine young handguns for years and years of service. Um, and remember, as always, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I do like this. The more and more I handle this, the more I might have to go put it back because I might try to take it home. Um, because it's calling me. It says, adopt me, Rick. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they need to be adopted. Um, and if you're in town here, stop by and see us. We're always, uh, myself and Victoria are always here on Saturdays. So, stop by and see us in the afternoon here. Um, take a look at what uh, David and the American Defense Company has to offer. And maybe you can, too, adopt one of these things. Uh, if not, these come in and say, hi, hey. Tell them, if you come in during the week, say, hey, our tack and daughters sent me. And just let us know. I'll let them know here in the back, and they'll take care of you just as easy as we would. So anyway, please like, share, subscribe. And remember, as always, folks, it costs nothing to be kind to one another. In this day and age, kindness costs nothing, and we need it. We'll catch you next time.